hey guys thank you for coming to my channel if this is your first time please don't forget to like subscribe and click the notification button i thank you for tuning in with me today and all of my returning supporters thank you um, as you can see from the title this is how you change your rectangular bar stool table to a standard circular table yes that is what i'm doing right now so as you can see i am measuring the table to see uh, basically the center um, and the table is five feet long by two and a half yeah five by two yeah and i'm just pretty much getting it right in the center so that i can drill a hole Here, I am drilling the whole center of the table, which I am going to be attaching a piece of, um, I think this is a one by four, one by six, something, just a piece of wood, I think it's one by six, that we found at the house that I can um, make a perfect circle, which worked wonder. But the method um, that you're gonna see that I tried I've seen so many different people do it it did not work for me and I just just may not have the most powerful uh, circular saw but I definitely did my best so as you can see in the center here I have a paintbrush to hold it in and then I am drilling another hole on the other end of this uh, board to attach the circular saw so that I can pretty much go around with the circular saw to cut the table. All right, so I have made the circle. At first it was small and I was like, mm, no, I don't want that. It was the circle was just too small so then I went out wider and um, there we go and I did the circle and did the marker uh, did run off the table but it worked out worked out perfectly <laughs> thumbs up um, so as we go on um, you will see here where I am going to attach the circular saw to this piece of wood with a screw um, which I just found that out learned that today um, or I'm sorry this day that there is a screw here which you can attach it to make it useful um, you know I'm not used scared to use power tools but I am learning as I go um, of course safety always um, but this part was definitely a struggle um, it's a struggle. It was loud and I'm like, wait a minute. I need to go outside because eventually I was in the house and I was like, um, no, this is not going to work. But, um, next clip, I'll be going outside. Okay, so I'm outside. Guys, please don't judge me. Uh, it's like literally had to click. Like, wait, this is going to make too much of a mess. So the circular way was not quite working for me. So eventually I started to cut the, um, the wood up to the circle in like little slits. And then once I got to a certain um, point where I could break it, I did so. I honestly should have what you will see later there were so many screws underneath we've had this table for about six years and there are so many screws and notches and planks everything underneath the table and I didn't even realize it so I was trying to figure out like why is this wood not coming off like why is it not coming off it's like a perfect perfect cut excuse my dog in the background um, but it was like a perfect cut and it just wasn't budging. 
But when I flipped the table over, I was like, oh, duh. See, this is why I should have, uh, you know, pretty much examined the table. This table is pretty sturdy. Um, we would put this table together. The thought, the, the material they used was definitely, um, yeah, definitely some uh, work on my hands. Okay, so you see here, this is a lot of slats um, that I started cutting. Then I had to take the border off, the nails, uh, I'm sorry, screws, um, to make it a lot easier for cutting. And uh, when you see the next clip, um, I tried to, see here, I tried to use the circular method, but it wasn't working and I had to stop. So as you can see here, you'll see smoke. It's not sawdust, this is smoke. My circular saw overheated and I was just so upset because I was literally making progress with this table. So um, I then I eventually found out that this is not like regular plywood. This is like, I don't know, particle board or something, but it was just too hard to work with. And that's why I was just having a hard time. So. Um, it's really sturdy. It's really thick, but it was just giving me a headache. So I had to take a break Because um, I look how much I had got done This was almost done and then poof it just started getting hot and I was like, oh, I don't want it to blow up and Bada boom bada bam All right, so it's cooled down and I am determined to finish up these last pieces that need to come off um, definitely got my money's worth out of this bad boy and bada boom bada bam I was finished and then I used some wood filler to fill in those extra slats and slots that needed some filling um, and I actually once I did that I used my hand saw to um, hand sander I'm sorry to actually do that so this is the big sander. Uh, when I first got this, I was just like, whoop, this bad boy is powerful. So, but I'm pretty used to it now and it really does get the job done. All right, so here's a closer look. Um, I am getting the edges and I'm um, going to sand down the top just to get the extra layer of um, paint and stain from when it was uh, the rectangular table and try to get it down to more of a natural wood and of course this first circle line that I made um, 
I was going one direction, but then I realized I wasn't going the same direction as the wood grain, so that's why I changed it. But um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just wants it to, you know, be decent. So now I'm using it to cut the leg, the bottom part of the table off so that it can be a standard size. tedious um, still have a little ways to go leveling the table um, sanding I'm um, trying to figure out if we're either gonna paint it or maybe a do epoxy but um yeah this is definitely a good idea okay so I'm using my um, smaller hand sander to uh, sand down the uh, wood filler that I let dry pretty much overnight um, it didn't take long to dry at all actually um, but I needed to get this done before the rain came, and which is much easier. And then after this, I'm going to go take it in the house um, and attach it back to the legs of the table just so that we can start painting. Okay, so here is the finished product. This is just the table. I am going to do another video on the chairs because I'm going to redo the chairs and cut those legs down and uh, reupholster the chairs as well. So I do want to thank everyone for watching my channel and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification button to stay tuned to my next set of videos. Have a great day.